combustion and flame combustion it is the process of burning of a substance in presence of air or oxygen with the liberation of heat and light combustible and non combustible substances combustible substances are those substances which burn in air and produce heat and light energy examples are lpg the liquefied petroleum gas kerosene paper cloth wood etc non combustible substances substances that do not burn in air examples are water sand glass cement etc they do not burn at all in air products of combustion hydrocarbons when hydrocarbon burn in presence of air they produce carbon dioxide and water with the liberation of energy hydrocarbons are compounds of carbon and oxy hydrocarbons are compounds of carbon and hydrogen
example of hydrocarbon are methane gas butane gas we'll take example of methane gas when it undergoes combustion in presence of oxygen it produces carbon dioxide and water carbon dioxide and water are main products of combustion when hydrocarbons burn types of combustion on the basis of rate of combustion that is speed of combustion combustion can be divided into two categories One is a rapid combustion. Combustion in which a large amount of heat and light energy is released in a very short span of time. Example is combustion of LPG, combustion of natural gas. slow combustion this type of combustion takes place very slowly and at low temperatures the example of this type of combustion the example of this type of combustion is respiration Another classification of combustion is on the basis of air supply and products evolved in the process of combustion. complete combustion if the hydrocarbon fuels burn in sufficient amount of oxygen or air then the combustion is known as complete combustion
the whole fuel burns in this process and releases energy the energy is released in the form of heat and light and the products formed are carbon dioxide and water In complete combustion, when the hydrocarbon fuels burn in less amount of air or oxygen, that is insufficient supply of air or oxygen, then the combustion is known as incomplete combustion. The products of incomplete combustion are carbon monoxide, water, soot, that is unburnt hydrocarbons with the liberation of heat and light energy. Now we'll talk about the necessary conditions for combustion. The necessary conditions for burning a substance are presence of combustible substance, Combustion is possible only in presence of combustible substance. The substance which burn and produce heat and light energy, that is combustible substance. Some examples are wood, paper, etc. Presence of supporter of combustion, air or oxygen is required for combustion process. It helps in combustion process, so their presence is necessary. The third necessary condition is attainment of ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is also known as kindling temperature. Ignition temperature is the minimum temperature at which a particular substance burns in presence of air.
a substance begins to burn only after it has attained a certain minimum temperature or ignition temperature that is the reason why a piece of wood has to be heated for some time before it catches fire the substances that have low ignition temperature catch fire easily such substances are known as inflammable substances the example of inflammable substances are lpg petrol alcohol etc now we will talk about the flame a flame is a reason where combustion of fuel takes place or we can say a flame is a product of highly exothermic reaction we can also define flame as a flame is a visible part of fire visible part that is light emitting part flames are of different colors color of flame depends on the following things the temperature amount of air supplied the substance burning 